All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing some Historic, and uh, we are playing what was actually the breakout deck of the last Pro Tour. Um, this deck did very, very well, actually, and uh, we're playing the list that Carl Sarp took to eighth place. This was the new competitive championship in Historic, of course. Uh, Green White Humans, and uh, this deck was actually just a really sneaky choice. Um, very solid against Arclight Phoenix, best deck in the format, not close, with four Esper Sentinel, for Thalia and a pretty good curve. Uh, of course, it's just an aggressive deck, which works, you know, you know, just safe to be aggressive, you know. Uh, Neo, thanks to the resub. Also, Borg, thanks to the resub. And uh, it's just pretty aggressive. The food decks weren't super popular. Uh, a lot of game against the Auras decks. Uh, it's just sweet. Nothing really crazy here, honestly. It's just a super solid deck. Um, playing a lot of good humans. Uh, of course, Thalia, Thalia's Attendant, Esper Sentinel, all modern power level cards. The one drops aren't great. There's a few, uh, you know, smattering of run drops here. We've got four Ranger Captain of Eos to go get our uh, our one ofs. Adeline is obviously insane, and a light green splash for two Catilda Dawnheart Prime for uh, a Mana Sink and Mana uh, Producer, as well as four Companies and then four Inquisitor Captain, uh, which is also quite good as well. Mana's good. Cyborg's got some creatures in it. Uh, Coral Harpooner, kind of a cool card. Uh, the Harpooner, Brutal Cathar. You get the idea. You get the idea. So that's a deck, and we're just going to play some games here. Brought to you by B7Bsupplies.com. B7B Supplies, best gear on the market, not close. Apron Match is coming back, and you need your gear. B7B Supplies has got you. They got you, right? Best stuff out there. And uh, sleeves are best. That's the ones I use right there. The Elite 2 deck cards. Best uh, binders, card sorting trays. Uh, you name it, they got it. B7B Supplies.com. Promo code Jim 10 10% off your order. B7B Supplies. Dot com. I've used this gear for literally the last like five or six years, so check it out. B7Bsupplies.com. Arclight Phoenix not included. Not included. Alright, let's go. Chat. Help me out. A little late night action. A Beseju Plains. Uh, a hand that is fine. We're going to keep this. Uh, we're on the draw. Turn 2 Thalia. It is obviously a little awkward that... Uh, Thalia and company in the same deck is always a little weird, but um, we can make it work. Really, really weird looking swamp. So, we're going to cast our one drop here. No guarantee that it's going to kill anything anyway. We're going to go. We're going to go. That is yes. Oh, I should I should do that, do that too, actually go over Worlds. Uh, Worlds has been announced. Uh, Worlds looks pretty awesome. Uh, I'll, go over that. I'll go over that later. I'll actually record, record, record a video over that too, actually. Here's Thalia. I didn't load the right Thalia, unfortunately, but that's okay. That's okay. So didn't draw land yet, which is not ideal, but we see Field of Ruin, there's your land. Alright, cool. So, we could fire up a Lieutenant here. We're going to fire up Ranger Captain. I assume something's dying here, so we're going to attack, and I'll see what they do. See what they do. Just taking it. Oh, Alright. Mono Black something. Cast Ranger Captain, get a little card advantage. Probably going to get a, uh, a Sentinel here. Sea Snid for... Resub, thanks so much for four months, you're awesome. Go search. Um, it's probably just Sentinel. Honestly. Inspector's not bad either, honestly, but Eh, just Inspector, I think, actually. Get Inspector, stay go. See what they want to do here. Nothing. No field of ruin. Fourth swamp. Solemn simulacrum. Okay. That's where we're at. I see how it is. Solemn simulacrum is here. Uh, I wonder if they have like a wrath effect of some kind. We draw another Thalia's Lieutenant. Alright, so we're gonna go, we're just gonna go in here. We're just gonna inspect her. We're gonna Lieutenant. We're gonna play all our crap. Size up here. Not that sad of a robot. Uh, not the right art, unfortunately, but we're in. Huge chunk. They chump. And now the question is, do I want to Ranger Captain them? I think the answer is yes. Uh, to deny... To silence them from playing non-creature spells. Because they could easily have a Wrath, Munich Massacre, Blood on the Snow, whatever. And this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Easily enough damage to kill them next turn. So, I'm just going to say go. And we're going to upkeep. Fire off our Ranger Captain of Eos. A little silence. Another Solemn, sure. And I believe that should, uh, I guess that doesn't necessarily do it, but another company. All right, we just cast Lieutenant. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Playing Skyclave is not good enough for lethal, but fire up Lieutenants. 
attack for a bunch. They jump block here, take nine, go to two. And if they have a Wrath, we just have a, a full reload here with double company and Thalia and a clue. So looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. What do you got? What do you got? You gotta have something. Massacre for four. Pretty good. Pretty good. Right, I'll see if we draw a land or not. Up to seven. We don't draw a land. Um, So we can cast Thalia here. Or we can play Skyclave and just eat the Munich Massacre. Deny them any more life gain. Yeah, we're gonna just Skyclave here. The problem is we cast Thalia. We can't play Clumpany. We draw a land. So we're just gonna Skyclave this and so you go. Obviously, they have a full seven cards in their hand, so not ideal. Lolith, Spider Queen. Okay. That's uh, that's some spiders. We drew a land, finally. And uh, just going to say go. No attacks. Not going to field me. Still full seven cards. Seven cards, eight mana. Thoughtseize. Sure. You got me. You got me. Thoughtseize away. Take a company. And play another Spider Queen. Sure. So, more spiders. Um, we do need to, like, actually battle through these spiders. There are four now. And play a Mind Stone. Sure. All right, end step gas company. We review. <sighs> okay, sure. No, it's fine. Whatever. Just you know, just five lands. NBD. All right, so we're gonna look for Slaloth's on one. That that really sucked. Uh, that was really crappy. All right. I guess we're gonna bodyguard here because Esper Sentinel's pretty uh pretty off. Uh, untap and draw a land. Uh, Crossroads can come in untapped because we were on the draw, I believe. So we can go bodyguard into captain or vice versa. It is gonna be a little hard to attack through all this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Let's cast Inquisitor Captain and start there. They have a lot of freaking spiders in play. <laughs> Alright, Adeline it is. Adeline or Lieutenant? Yeah, it's gotta be Adeline. So, put an Adeline. It's pretty big. They could definitely have Ugin, we can't beat that. Or do anything about it, honestly, so... Name White. Comes in untapped. We can Bodyguard on... I don't really want to give them a 2-2. I guess we bodyguard the Skyclave. And fire over some attacks. We'll try and kill Lalith, because they can just chump block anyway. If I attack them with both, they just chump block one. So, might as well take a shot at Lalith here with three attackers. Another Massacre would be devastating, obviously, but like, what are we going to do, you know? So we'll sack our bodyguard. Keep our Skyclave alive. Massacre all the spiders. They're at four. Again, they have a Massacre here. We're probably just dead, but, I mean, what you gonna do? You know, what you gonna do? Ugh. So, as I said in the intro, uh, this was a very good metagame choice for the Pro Tour. Uh, this, I'm sure this Mono Black Meetup Massacre Lala Spider Queen deck was not played at the Pro Tour, um, which is definitely a concern you can have when you're, uh, when you're, um, trying to play a good metagame deck, but sure, is it it is, is it it is. Historic's pretty stagnant, yeah, nothing's really changed too much, pretty much the same format as it was, like, eight months ago, you know. We'll say go. We'll say go. Now, unfortunately, the Massacre's in play, so they can keep gaining life off this Lalith. And uh, just like in standard, Lalith is very good against white aggro decks. Nothing too different here. Our deck is actually 50% lands right now. We actually haven't drawn many lands at all. Oh, well, I guess that there are five of them. There are five on the bottom of our deck. All right, so they get our Thalia. 
This is a really, really ugly first game here. Solemn Simulog, I'm sure. Some freaking boomer magic here. Boomer magic. It's their third solid simulacrum. Then we're going to cast a spider. I'm in a cast company. Skyclave, Catilda, Thalia's Lieutenant. Uh, again, Skyclave and Massacre is actually pretty nice. And Catilda is... Oh, okay. Uh... Lieutenant's not... I, I guess... Like, Lieutenant Catilda is not great. Maybe we just get two two twos. We're just, like, just up shit's creek here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, two, take two humans. Pump some stuff up. It's up ace. And, uh, not gonna block. Yeah. I just don't know if this deck can beat two resolve massacres, two resolve loths. Alright, crack the cloak. Draw. Alright, that was probably the best possible draw. Mon Capitan. Lieutenant. Reveals Adeline or Ranger Captain. Okay. Put Adeline in the battlefield. And now I can make it make pump this thing up. Get to attack. And pump it up again. I think we're gonna go after a lot of the matter, actually, honestly, but. The 1-1 one, one is going to die, but it's going to pump the uh, Lieutenant. Alright. I'm trying, folks. I'm, I'm trying my best here. Uh, sure, attack that. Pump Lieutenant. Really cool synergy between the Lieutenant and, uh, and Adeline. Adeline's so good. Just such a good card. Let's jump block. No? Yes? Maybe? Sure. Let's jump with Solemn. We lose Token. Again, I would really prefer if they didn't have another Massacre. <laughs> Oh, that would be cool. I would appreciate that. We do have the ability to uh, to pump the squad with Katilda. Shit. Well, this means they have another massacre, which is terrible for us. Um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard to win. Um. What's up, Darth? Not poolside cube drafts. So they have a cool uh, little card room on the boat. It's like a library card room. Those are me and my, my, my friend on a cruise uh, all last week. And they have this really cool little like card room. Love this thing, right? Sure. Why not? Why not? Mono Black Wrath of God deck. Can never beat a Phoenix deck or any other good deck in the format, but gonna beat the shit out of us, that's for sure. It's okay, Light Spell. Right, we're gonna go to our we're gonna go to the next game here. Alright. Uh, that's that's a company, I guess. Alright, sure, I guess we're gonna keep playing. Um probably can't ever win still, but I said no meat hook, that's true. I did I did uh I did say no meat hook. Um oh, Alright, that's enough. That's enough's enough. Enough's enough. Alright, so uh mono black bullshit. Uh we're gonna bring in Elspeth. And it's really it. These Skyclaves aren't very good. Maybe the Liberators are actually, like, fine. It's not good. This is not good for us. Uh, not good at all. Not good at all. We'll do our best. I'll do my best, but... What's up, Optimator? How's it going, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. All right, we're going to mulligan this one. Sure, sounds pretty good. Uh, keep this ship, Giant Killer. And uh, just going to fire up the crossroads on white. Scry and try and find that third land. That is not the third land. We're going to bottom it. Stick, resub, thanks so much. All right. Um, Dahlia is good. Dahlia into Adeline into Captain. It's a really good curve. Have I seen the Diablo 4 trailer? I have not. I have not, no. Should I? So I think I should do. Alright. Good curve. Good curve. Thalia's got the tax going. Draw land. Uh, we're just going all the way here. We're just not. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. No way, no how. 
Noxious Grass? That's obnoxious. Alright, um... I guess we want a Lieutenant here and just try and push damage. And make Massacre a little harder. Makes a 4-4. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna take Lieutenant. Captain's cool and all, but like, I think we need to win. There's no, there's no, uh, no sugarcoating it. We need to win fast or we're not gonna win, because they're like, it's just a thousand Wrath of Gods, so. Is Diablo Immortal out? I know it's like a, a faux pas thing to even ask, but. Um, like completely out? Alright, let's get Ranger Captain of Eos and get a one drop and just pump up our Lieutenant. Is it free to play? I'm gonna down, download that shit. It's absurd. I know everyone's complaining how how money grabby it is, but is it is it, it is free to play? Because I don't like I don't care about like leveling up and like being like a great character. So I like dick around my phone a little bit, you know. So uh, might be a cool game for me, honestly. Uh, Bodyguard protects against actual rats, but not Medic Massacre. But I think it's still reasonably to have access to. So let's play that. Play Bodyguard. Like, we're playing Magic Arena right now, you know? Like, are there are there games that are more predatory than Magic Arena is? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Grasp the Ranger Captain? So they definitely have a Wrath. Um, so we're trying to uh, make it so I can't silence them next turn. Alright. We attack. Massacre can only happen for X equals 2, which is not good enough. I think they're pretty dead here. They're pretty dead. Let's take a game's more predatory than arena. Uh, a casino. A casino. It would take over 100k to get everything. What's everything? Like every unique item in the entire game. Because like, aren't most of the uniques in Diablo shit anyway? You know, we won a game. We beat the black deck. That's pretty sweet. To max your character, it's not in beta right now. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, this is good. Sentinel is great. So we, we, we need a two drop to fill the curve here, but uh, this is a good curve. I guess it goes like Adeline and Clapton and Delspeth. Gifted Aetherborn. Well, we drew a two drop. Um, it's not exactly the two drop we're looking for, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, but it's with Adeline too, so we're going to play... Uh, Let's play this on white, I guess. Lieutenant. Legendary gems. I saw it. It looked very, like, Raid Shadow Legendy. Um, and, like, that doesn't really interest me at all. But, like, Diablo interests me? Oh, man. So we're going to pay for Inquisition and take my Adeline, which really sucks. Uh, really sucks bad. Um, we draw Inspector. That could be worse. All right, land, Inspector, Clue. Try and draw land number four for company or captain. Just need to cast Elspeth on Curve here, I think, too. Thoughts? Alright. They gotta pay the tax again? Look at them paying their taxes. What a an upstanding citizen. Just paying their taxes, you know? Who pays their taxes? No! Alright. Straw land. They take company over captain, makes sense. We draw a land or a good creature. That's a land. I'll take that. All right. So land, captain, double trigger lieutenant. Hopefully hit lieutenant here. All right. There it is. We're doing it. We are doing it. So now the question is, will I, am I willing to trade a Esper Sentinel for a gifted Aetherborn? Um, I guess I am, right? I'm trying to attack for a lot next turn. So Also, we want to keep the huge creature, so Massacre isn't good either. Wow, nothing? That is extremely interesting. Heh. Alright, they wanted to keep the devotion for Grey Merchant. Sure, you got it. Uh, we're going to play land. I think we're just playing Elspeth and looking at the top seven cards for a permanent. Try to hit like Adeline or something like that. Adeline. Captain, Bodyguard, Outland, Liberator. I think it's Ranger Captain. Trigger my lieutenants. Search for... I guess bodyguard? 
yeah, I mean, I, I would not be looking for anything more than a casual experience with the uh, Diablos. It sucks we can't, like, sack this and then keep a shield counter, like, it's precision like that, but... Um, we're going to move the combat. We're going to send in the big boys. Um, I guess that's it. I'm going to keep a Sentinel back. They can just block it anyway, so... Yeah, like, I don't play Diablo seriously, you know? <laughs> like, I just want to freaking, like, kill some monsters and stuff. Uh, trade Aetherborn for Lieutenant. That's fine. Right now, a Massacre for four would be pretty debilitating. So I think we want to actually just Ranger Captain them. Um, even though we lose a the shield, they should go land Massacre for four. It's disgusting, so... Brock the Brick says, Hey, Jim. Went our first modern 1K and took third. Awesome playing Rhinos. On top eight to put the back as well. Yeah, that's, that's, that happens. That definitely happens. Nah, the shield counter doesn't really regen. So they're going to play another Green Merchant. Sure, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Uh, we draw Thalia's Lieutenant. Bingo. This thing we can put a counter on it and give Flying, First Strike, Lifelink, or Vigilance. Um, so we're going to play Lieutenant. I think I should want to pump the Sentinel. Let's play Sentinel. Play, pump that. Play Lieutenant. Pump the squad. And we're going to put, why do they put them in weird spots? Uh, we have a 5-5 five, five that can attack, a 5-5 five, five that can attack, a 3-4 that can attack, and a 4-4 four, four that can attack. We're going to play Bodyguard. Protect the 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I guess Massacre is still pretty bad for us here, but I can make two 6-6s, six, which, which, which means Massacre can't do anything about that, so... Let's put a counter on Captain, and let's give it lifelink, actually. Just so we don't get, like, cheesed out by more merchants. And then we're just gonna bash. Attack, 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 attack. Um, they can double the Sentinel if they want. I'll sack the Bodyguard. Nope. Alright, great. So, I suppose worst case scenario would be Blood on the Snow. But I would save my thing, I would draw a card, and draw another card, and still have Elspeth. And they were, like, gonna win. Zoe says, hey Jim, if you're unparalleled at parking, does that mean you're good at it or bad at it? I like it. Nothing? Uh, put a counter, I don't know, here? Whatever. What can they have here? Is there a black cellar wreckage? Uh, get it flying. Attack step. Attack step. Would you look at that? Our crappy creature deck beat the all wrath deck, I think. I want to count any chickens here. Noxious grasp, sure. You gonna pay four? Nope. Draw a card. Draw a card. Okay. We have a sage you for Haven now too. This is seven. They're still like really dead, right? Double Noxious Grass. Wow. Can you imagine, like, playing with that many Noxious Grass in your deck? Um, Alright, so... Sure. They take three, four, five. They're still just dead, right? Take that, Meat of Massacre deck. <laughs> Chef Poppy. Hey, Poppy. Thanks, Dan, and I appreciate that. How's, uh, how's Doggo doing? I got Karn sleeping over here in his bed for a nice walkie. Uh, this is fine. Uh, Born. New sub. What's your name? Wherever. Thanks so much. Cruise is good. Cruise is a lot of fun. Cruise is very enjoyable. We really explored uh, Bermuda. We were there for like two and a half days parked uh, in port. Nicole and I bought like the two day bus pass and just like rode the bus everywhere and just like went to cool crystal caverns, went to the beach. We're looking for a universal remote control to hack into our, uh, to hack into our cruise room TV. Um, because they, like, lock you out of, like, plugging in your laptop. So you need a universal remote. I mean, it worked. It was great. And, uh, you can see here Crystal Caverns. Super cool. It's this crazy, like, cavern. You can't see it that well, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna keep on the draw double Thalia. I know we have a bunch of, bunch of fours, but, like, we can draw lands or most of our spells. 
Oh, that's good, Tan. I'm, I'm, I'm glad she's doing better. I'm glad she's doing better. I know when, when Karma was sick, it was definitely chaos around here. Why do you think Modern Aggro isn't very favored in a store, despite having access to things like Embercleave? Embercleave's not, like, that good. You know, like, it's fine. But it's kind of like a... You know, yeah, it's a really powerful card, but, like, if your opponent's doing better stuff, it's a very, like, one-trick kind of card. It only does one thing, you know? So... Jason Bourne, you're great. Untapped is great. Hope you hope you use my link there. Hope you use my link, of course, down down at untapped.gg. Uh, we we actually caught COVID before our cruise, which is sort of like peace of mindy because like, well, we already had it, so what's the worry, you know? But on, on the cruise, it's like you know full vaccination, take a test two days beforehand, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so just gonna cast Ranger Captain and see what's up. What's up, Trex? What's up, Mac? Yeah, clutch, right? <laughs> Real smart. Just get it beforehand, you know. Uh, not intentionally, obviously, but bodyguard. Is it Sentinel or bodyguard here? Sentinel's obviously good against them, but they have a wrath. Um, our hand is stacked. Our hand is you know super stacked as far as. Uh, let me take Sentinel. What cruise line were you on, Jason? Sounds good, nurse. I appreciate it. Yeah, Igor had a, Igor had a great life, all things considered. Uh, those who don't know, we we got Igor at the pet store, and he was like traumatized, like. He had a, clearly a terrible pet store experience. Um, we, like, they got him and took him out of the thing. He was, like, the, the, the store owner was, like, chasing him around with the thing, trying to pick him up, and he was running away. And he gives us the thing. He's, like, good luck with that one. We're, like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, like, and Igor, it took Igor almost, like, two or three months to socialize. It took a lot of work. But from then on, he was, you know, happy little hamster. He got his quiet life. So what boat was it, Jason? If you don't mind me asking. Thought Collapse? Okay. I will mill three cards. You got me. Mill some heaters, too. What's up, Mac? I'm going to go over Worlds after this, uh, after this set. I'm going to make a short video explaining about what the format of Worlds is and stuff, and I'll go over everything. It's, they, they announced everything for Worlds, so I'm very excited about it. Uh, Alright, sorry. I'm stacked. Yeah, it is really annoying, Jason. That definitely sucks. That definitely sucks. New sub, Jason. Also, you're great. I'll go over Worlds after uh, a match. Uh, we were on the Norwegian Joy out of Manhattan. You got a Wrath for me, Esper Control player. Thought Collapse. We're playing Thought Collapse here. I'm trying to play our games again. Drown in the Lock. Uh, you got me. You see, it's a combo, folks. You get it? You mill them and you drown them. Yeah, mill him and you drown him. All right, we're going to uh, just fire up Captain here. They had a Wrath. I think they would have cast it, so. Yeah, two years is about the average lifespan for, for, a, ham for a hamster. Yes, they're a little short of gerbils, so. And now we can silence them, too. It's sick. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a, I think, a Bodyguard to play around a future Wrath. And just, like, jam. Jam for six. We'll say go and silence them. The Encore. Went to Alaska. That's cool. That's pretty cool. An Alaska cruise, a little different. It's funny. The ship before our or the trip before ours for the Joy was supposed to go to Bermuda, but there was a tropical storm, so they went to Canada instead. Uh -huh. Which is a little different, I suppose. But all right, we're at five. What about they have settled on their deck? Like settle Shark Typhoon. I don't think I mind settle honestly. Well, if you get three lands, our hand is freaking gassed. Okay, or, or, huh? I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Didn't even do anything. It didn't even do anything. Okay. Uh, so there was some sort of control deck. We're gonna bring in, I guess, Elspeth. And I guess the Liberator. Maybe the Hearse, actually, because the Hearse is good against the Drama Lock. And the Liberator is just better against Sky, better than Skyclave. I guess Giant Killer could kill a Giant Shark, maybe. So this is fine. Why Cyborg? Why Cyborg? Yeah, well, unfortunately, Nurse, I got uh, I got COVID. So the COVID really screwed up Bronze Mythic bad. But I'm going to be doing... Uh, we do one episode of Bronze Mythic today. And I'll be doing a whole bunch tomorrow. whole bunch tomorrow. Hearse replaced Relic. Yeah, Hearse, Hearse is pretty good. Hearse is pretty good. Sounds cool, Jason. Sounds cool. Yeah, we, we've, we've done four cruises, all in Norwegian. And uh, I must say the food this time was phenomenal. Uh, all free food. 
No, get diner, diner pack for the MSFD. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, food is really good. Storework's a lot of fun. I like, I like a Storework a lot. I think a Storework's a cool format. I know there was an Alchemy release recently. There's a lot of weird new cards that I haven't even looked at yet because they were released like while I was on, I think I was during the cruise, I think. But cruises are great. Cruises are awesome. Uh, you just get to totally disconnect. Not You have zero responsibility. You don't have to think about anything. You just wander around. You get fed when you want to be fed. You just do things. You can not do things. Just freaking great. Uh, keep the sand. It's great. I love cruises. And, and you, as long as you're smart about booking it at a good time and at a good at a good rate, they're fairly cost-effective for an all-inclusive vacation. Annoying, annoying cruise goers? No. I mean... Like, Nicole and I were cruise famous on our first ship. We just, we just played every game show. We were just there. You know, everyone was just like, by the end of cruise, everyone's like, oh, it's Jim and Nicole. You know, they won the trivia game or they did this and that or whatever. But this cruise, we were off the boat a lot more. Keep going. Thanks, nurse. Consider a response to Sentinel. Makes sense. Makes sense. Esper control with the cryptic command sleeves. Makes sense. Also makes sense. This card's so freaking good. Just like disgusting how good this card is. Alright, we're gonna go... Let's play our, play our lieutenant here. Just get it going. Yeah, they have all sorts of like fun trivia games. And like, it's a lot of like silly bullshit. Uh, but it's fun. You know, just like fun silly trivia. And silly little like game shows. It's not like nothing crazy. It's just like a dude with a PowerPoint. You know, in the main atrium. Just like running game shows. But they're fun. It's a lot of fun. Divide, thanks for the gifts up. I appreciate that. If you're a new sub, join Discord, right? Welcome to the pile drivers. All right, we are going to Thalia attack Tapland. That was easy. All right, I mean, now our attacks is super hard. We got Thalia attack, Sentinel attacks, and once again, our hand is absolutely stacked. Um, can't even wrath here. We draw Adeline. We're going to, uh, we're not going to play anything else here. We're just going to attack. And then if they wrath, we just cast against Ends of Company. Night Lion, Sub Baby. What's up? Name our Sub Baby, please. We didn't, we didn't win Music Mania. We did win Music Mania. Uh, Nicole sang Call Me Maybe in front of everyone. And I was, I was her hype man. I was like, you know, hey, this is crazy. And so on and so forth. It was fun. All right. Uh, once again, they just haven't cast a spell. Um... I guess we just have lethal, so I'll just attack. We also want movie quotes for trivia, it's true. Although, I, what's clever stuff right now? They had I'll Be Back as a quote from Terminator 1. And they had Hasta La Vista Baby as a quote from Terminator 1. Those are both incorrect, right? I know chat's here to help me out, so. Right, give a damage, just say go. Uh, because those are both definitely from Terminator 2, right? I'll be back is in Terminator 1? No, it's not. Shadow's Verdict? All right, cool, they're dead. Hostile Beast is definitely Terminator 2, for sure. But at what point does he say, I'll be back in Terminator 1, though? Because, like, he doesn't even talk. He's like a mindless killing machine in Terminator 1. Is it both? Wow. That's fine. Um. All right, so we get uh, these two. We kill them. They're dead. Cool. I work with cruisers that you go to the places and only go to touristy parts. You just go to touristy areas. I mean, you got to be aware of where you're going. You don't want to like you know travel into some like you know dodgy areas or whatever. And like you know you people know the area and they you don't take advantage of and things like that. But Nicole and I just went. All, Bermuda seems awesome. Bermuda seemed like super. Like we went to the Bahamas. It felt like there's a lot of like sketchy folks trying to like hustle everyone and like try and get travelers or stuff like that, but me was great. He was great. Boom. Oh, did I wake you, Karn? Go back to sleep. We go to this bar in Bermuda to watch the Ranger game, and they have karaoke there, which isn't, like, ideal because we're watching the Ranger game. Every person's insane. Like, by the fifth person, we're like, this is this is not right. Like, this is karaoke, and every person's been a 9 out of 10 at, at minimum so far. And we, we surmised that it was the cast of Footloose from the boat, like after hours, and we were right. We asked the bartender, so that was fun. But um, we just pathway here, I guess, on white, which is like really, really funny. 
Uh, they were so good. They were so good. Uh, wow, it is Terminator 1. Uh, that's crazy. Fatal push, draw a card. Love it. Didn't draw two drop. And didn't draw two drop. That sucks. That sucks. We're going to scry land here. Make a white scry. Full loose stack the deck. Yeah, they really did. Because, like, it was just insane. Like, here, I'll play, I'll play it for y'all. I, I recorded a video or two. Like, you get a karaoke, you, you have a certain level of expectation, you know, a karaoke. And my expectations were not met. Like, listen to this dude. Like, come on, man. Vibrato at freaking uh, at freaking karaoke. You're you're over you're over your you're over your uh, you're over the limit. All right, you're too good. Blood Tithe Harvester. All right, so we just like Ranger Captain here. Uh, probably get Sentinel. I think we could always get a Bodyguard for Adeline next turn. Actually, I like, I like that better. I like that better. Yeah, just so just like twenty four professional singers, uh, just hanging out. This is Bronze Mythic now. We're just playing some historic. Bronze Mythic tomorrow. Bronze Mythic tomorrow. Yeah, I we were we were discussing what song I should sing to try and take it down a notch. I decided that Biz Markey, just a friend, but I, I didn't have I didn't have the balls to do it. I wasn't really drinking. If I had like, you know, I'd probably take about six drinks or seven drinks of me to do that. And it's funny because I told Nicole, like, I'm pretty sure if I had done that, the entire bar would have sang. Here's this douchebag just like going up. Who like can't even sing, you know, and singing a song where the dude in the song can't even sing. I guarantee the whole place would have like just chimed in and sang along and stuff, but whatever, I didn't do it because I'm, I'm a wuss. So, um, wuss slash not drinking. So that's why I was focusing on the Ranger game, you know. Ranger game is like the important part. So let's play Adeline and just protect it immediately, I think. They discarded a freaking Pelucranos, which was unexpected, but Adeline protect it. What's new Pussycat? And it did not go well. That's the thing, though. In karaoke, it's, like, not supposed to go well. You know? Like, it's kind of the idea. Say It Ain't So is one of my go-tos. I have about three or four go-to karaoke songs, and Say It Ain't So is one of them. Say It Ain't So is one of them. Yeah, Rain's had a great season. I can't complain. I can't complain. All right, so we're going to tap. We have company here. Um... This is a very interesting spot here. We're gonna we're gonna cast company. I think we can do it in combat if we want to be frisky about it. Try and break up a double block by either hitting Thalia's lieutenant or we also have this. Uh, we have the seat of the empire too. This is a legend. That's also that's also kind of cool. Um, I think it's just cast sentinel and then shock in land attack with Adeline. See what happens. See how they block. Yeah, say it ain't so. They're gonna go for the block. Wow. Um No blocks, never mind. Alright, now we just cast company, I think. There's nothing to kill, so let's cast company. Alright, giant killer, double ranger captain. Easy double ranger captain. Sick value. Sick value. They didn't block the freaking one one. What are they doing? They're scooping. That's the good. We're scooping. All right, so we're gonna. Okay then. Okay then. That's uh, we'll take that. We'll take that. I feel like I've got a pretty good feel for the deck. So we went, we went like two point five and zero. Um, our opponent just uh, I don't know, just didn't want to play anymore in that one, I guess. And the deck seems super solid. I mean, if there's like there hasn't really been like a straight aggro deck, um, in in historic for a while, and this deck really does line up pretty well. Uh, in the format in general. Uh, it's very good against Phoenix. Uh, it was a really, really smart choice. You can definitely beat this deck if you want to, but I think that um, overall, the deck was a great choice for Historic, great choice for the tournament. Uh, super, super awesome. And again, this is untapped.gg. Download it for yourself. Use my link uh, and track all your stats for free. It's freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. Use my link, please, though. I'm sponsored by them. Uh, deck's great. Great metagame choice. Super awesome. We're going to play more decks on stream, but YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think.